Um, no, just, I, I'd say the biggest thing that stood out for me was just how professional he was and how professional, but at the same time just seemed to love his work, loved, loved racing and uh, seemed to always have a good, good uh, positive energy around him. Uh, <laughs> this is <laughs> sad to say because for us it was a, a special day, uh, the, the first stage because uh, Miguel won the, the first stage and uh, was the, the same day, the 22, so uh, we were feeling a lot that day. And so here in Trentino we always feel big responsibility uh, to a result, to, how to say, to show how, uh, how we, we still feel uh, this missing. So. My my favorite memory of uh, Michele is uh, the World Championship in Florence 2013 and uh, I remember the, the great person that uh, he was, always happy, always smiling and uh, they, I don't know, it's, it's incredible that uh, now he is not here with, with us in the peloton. Well, you know, I remember him, he's so funny guy and uh, I have respect for him and uh, and yeah, and uh, what I say, he's such a good guy. Yeah, uh, Michele, for me, even, uh, I think for, uh, for the whole group, uh, is a person, very nice person, nice guys, uh, I think uh, for, for all. Uh, he's, he's very. We miss him. Ah, oh, missing. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, Michele for for me, but uh, for uh, I think for all group uh, missing uh, very very a lot because uh, he's a, a nice person, uh, sympathetic. Uh, he's a joker. Yeah. And uh, nothing for uh, is a big, big uh, missing for, for all. Scarponi is a fantastic uh, champion. Uh, he's only one word. He's a he's a capitano. Uh, Michele era un grande amico. Ho corso insieme. Era il mio capitano ai tempi della Lampre. Le tuttora e sarà sempre nel mio cuore. Credo nel cuore di tante persone. Yeah, I was there in, um, in Innsbruck when he won the stage and I can remember seeing his, his happiness and his joy and I can remember seeing other people's happiness as well and, and that made me reflect about Scarponi because I knew Scarponi from um, all the doping investigations and, and the scandals and all the talk about doping so we never really had a good open relationship he was a little bit evasive but that made me think about him well if he's friends with everybody and everybody likes him there must be more to him than just what we read about in, in the doping cases and after his death, after his tragic death, and you know that was caused by a road accident, which is a big problem for any cyclist. That made me reflect and think about him even more. And, and when I saw people's reactions to his death, that made me realize, you know, we see cyclists and they're athletes, but then they're human beings as well. And on a personal side, you can see that Michele was just a really nice guy that he got along with everybody and everybody got along with him and they all appreciated each other. So he, he was just, Away from cycling, he must have been a really nice guy. Um, Michel Scarponi is uh, always with us. He is uh, in uh, our team uh, also now. Um, I, I remember his uh, smile, always. Uh, he, he was uh, uh, not only a good rider, but uh, a very, very good people. Um, there are, uh, there are uh, many, many anecdotes, uh, but uh, he, he was uh, able, also if uh, there was uh, some uh, problems, uh, to, uh, to, be, uh, to be happy and uh, to, uh, to, to put also uh, all the team, uh, the riders, and not only the riders, 
uh, all the team in uh, good, good condition. So, uh, October 2005, we were uh, leaving from Bologna to Madrid together and uh, he wanted to organize all the trip. So we approached the front desk, check-in desk, and uh, the lady looking at the reservation told uh, and uh, Michele, yes, two, me and Raimondo, two people. And uh, the lady, no, two of October, today is October the 3rd. In that moment, the guy that wanted to organize the overall trip Look at me with a with an eye meaning thousands of things. Among this, once I organized, I made a mistake. It was that moment was incredible. And uh, later, with with luck, with the lady because the lady changed us the, the ticket. And then on the plane, I had my first panic attack. <laughs> and he was joking me, kidding me telling me you're crazy, you suffer panic attack, uh, unbelievable. It was a very, very usual day with Michele. <laughs> Hi, I know Scarboni from uh, many, many years because uh, I know him uh, when he's an uh, amateur rider uh, in the Italian race. He's an incredible rider, incredible man. I remember one time so during the Tour de France 2014, when my rider Vincenzo Nibel is in yellow jersey and I meet him uh, during the lunch and I ask uh, what do you think about this tour? Hey Alex, this tour is already done. Why, uh, Michele, you tell him this way? Because Vincenzo is super. Then uh, every time Michele told the right things in the good way. And for me, I remember that he's uh, the great rider, but in particular, he's a great man. Uh, Michele for our is a very important person. Uh, we can uh, remember him and uh, uh, ride uh, to to his memories and uh, uh, is uh, in our heart. Was there a favorite race that he, you know, a favorite performance or anything that he did that stands out to you? Uh, for me, yes. Uh, I like uh, very, very uh, the the race uh, of. Uh, my, my region, uh, Giro della Pennino, and uh, uh, Sunday uh, go go to this race and uh, try to 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 make a good performance. Uh, my main memory uh, of uh, Michele Scarponi is um, not a memory of a race, or not only of race. Uh, uh, I mean that uh, I remember very well uh, the meeting that uh, I had with him uh, the very last day of the Tour of Italy of three years ago, uh, 2016, uh, the, the Giro d'Italia. Uh, that Giro d'Italia was won by Vincenzo Nibali, his teammate. Uh, you know, uh, it was a really difficult Giro for Vincenzo Nibali. It was really at almost five minutes of delay about uh, on cross week in the third week and then he was able to recover and Scarponi was really his best helper and so I remember that I had a meeting with Scarponi in the morning of the very last day the last the last stage the finish line was in Turing the meeting was in the bus of uh, Astana and uh, it was a meeting for an interview to talk about more or less the summary of that incredible Giro, his help in the famous stage of the Colle dell'Agnello and uh, um, he gave me the, um, the appointment for the meeting but when I arrived um, he told me if uh, we can postpone the meeting of uh, some days so three or four days after the Giro to talk about this Giro because in that moment the morning of the very last stage um, he, wa he wanted to remain alone without talking with the press in order to 
have uh, in his mouth only the sensation of the happiness to remain with his teammates to appreciate more the victory uh, because he considered the victory of Nibali as, as his own victory and certainly a big piece of that Giro d'Italia of Nibali uh, still belongs to Michele Scarponi. Per me Scarponi è stato una persona veramente molto importante che mi ha aiutato a raggiungere tanti successi ma al di là di questo è stata una persona speciale perché era una persona veramente eh, solare l'altro giorno è il suo memoriale però eh, non voglio pensare neanche a questo perché è un, è un po' brutto per me vorrei che Scarponi fosse sempre qui eh, con il suo sorriso e il, la sua persona splendida che era